G'day, welcome to the channel. Well, I'm just taking a stroll around looking for something to paint on this beautiful day. They said it was going to be windy, but it's not too bad. Anyway, this looks pretty good. You've got some cows grazing there. Beautiful mountain ridge. Okay, so what the plan is, I've got my art gear in the car. I'm going to drive around and uh, look for something to paint on this beautiful day. This area, I've never been around this area, so it's really good to check out new areas. So um, come along for the trip, and let's see if we can find something to paint, eh? Well, the road's turned to gravel now. There's bush on one side, and the odd valley. Sorry about the wind. There's a beautiful, cute little cow down there. These cows, Tell me if you know what type of cows these are. They're black and white. Let's see if I can get a closer look at them. Mm, look down there. Let's have a look. Oh, sorry about that. Look at these cows, so cute. The calf. Gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to keep driving. Probably about another half an hour or so, because I've already been going about an hour and a half. Ugh. So it depends how far I can go. But if I can find something to paint, it'd be good. I've been driving over two hours in this bush and it's gone forever and ever and ever. This is backcountry folks, nothing out here. Okay, so there's the barge going over to the other side there. So on this side, this is St. Alburns up behind me. And if you head that way, it goes back to Gosford. But over this way here, you got Wiseman's Ferry on the other side here. So this, this barge takes the cars across the river for the people that live here and the tourists that come up this way. And this river here is called the Hawkesbury River. So here comes all the people coming up, uh, coming over this side. Here they come, they're all coming across. Doesn't cost anything to take your car on there. It's free. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep going up this way, which sort of heads towards the Blue Mountains inland, but along the river, and I've never been along there, so I'm going to keep driving, and if something catches me eye worth painting, I'll paint. So let's continue on the road. There's some cows coming. Here they come, check this out.
Okay, so after a couple of hours of driving in a big circle, I've come to this. How good does this look? I'm going to have a go at painting this in acrylic today, folks. I love painting acrylic. Good thing about acrylic is it dries super quick. And I'm going to paint this soon here. I'm not too sure what composition yet, but it's going to be yellow fields with a good sky. Might even put that tree in there. I'm not too sure yet. So I'll get my composition sorted out and we'll get painting. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at. I'm going to paint this scene up here. I'm going to have the yellow fields. There's some pine trees in the distance and I'm going to put a big cloud in. So that's what I'm looking at. And I've got a wash in place here in acrylic. So let's get painting. What I've got here is I've got a plastic plate and I've got all my acrylic paint in place using all these colours here, variety colours. I'm going to work nice and thick. This is cobalt blue and white for the sky. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? As the last painting, I've got the impesto effect again, where I've used texture paste and a couple of coats of gesso actually three coats of gesso and a coat of gesso, um, texture paste gives that wrinkly paper effect you know as an artist you've got to try new things and you've got to mix it up and experiment and like myself after 17, 18 years of painting I'm still learning new things and still probably haven't found my real style yet but um it's fun in the process. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the clouds because I want to come back and perfect them at the end. I'm going to carry on and I'm going to do the pine trees in the middle distance. I'll be doing that now.
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some highlights on those pine trees in the distance. I'm going to use the dark tone that I had. The darker tone that I had, the pine trees, and I've added a lighter green. I think it's emerald green with white. That's what I'm going to use for the highlights of the pine trees. Okay, there's some, you can actually see some pine tree stumps, or well, the branches, and there's some stumps in that there, so I'll just put a few flicks in there to create that light. I'm using yellow ochre, oh, sorry, burnt sienna and white. Okay, I'm going to work on the yellow now. These um, fields of yellow weeds, they actually are. I remember when I used to have horses when I was a kid. We used to pull them out because they were poisonous for the horses. But obviously they're okay with cows. So they must have a cast iron stomach, I think, the cows. Get some green first. I love working with acrylic. It's really good when you travel because it dries super quick. Oil paints can take a week if you don't add a medium to them. Highlights now. Those fields are a beautiful yellow. Beautiful. Okay, let's get these clouds done now. Okay, I'll just play around with this for a little bit and then we'll wrap it up.
Okay, I've done the painting. The clouds aren't cauliflower, so that's good. So let's have a look at it. Here's the painting. Working in acrylic today. Turned out okay. I love the pure colour that you get with acrylic. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Thanks for the plain air journey. We went all the way around the world, driving about seriously over two hours, going through like backcountry, and there was like nothing there. Just uh, wildlife signs and bush. Anyway, catch you in the next one. See ya.